All right, guys, so for this trick, I have this deck of cards over here, which I'm going to take out of the card box. And we are actually just going to go ahead and shuffle this deck as much as the spectator wants me to. And I could actually hand the entire deck over to the spectator so that they can go ahead and shuffle the cards as much as they want. And they can give it a ripple shuffle. Oh, they can give it a ripple shuffle. They can give it an overhand shuffle. They can literally give it as many shuffles as they want to. But as you guys can see, the entire order of the deck is completely random, completely shuffled. The order does not matter at all in this trick. So we'll just set the deck over here for now. Now, this envelope over here, I have not mentioned this yet. You guys probably noticed it was here though, on the table. Now, this is not just a random envelope. This is here for a very specific reason. As you can see, it actually contains some text on it. It says the future, meaning that this envelope contains the future inside of it. What is inside of this envelope? I have no idea. We'll find out in just a little bit. But as you guys can see, this deck over here was completely shuffled by the spectator. I didn't do anything to the cards. The cards were completely handled by the spectator themselves. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to have the deck be cut by the spectator so they can cut the cards anywhere they want to. And then I want them to complete the cut, but leave the cards just sticking out a little bit diagonally just so that we can mark the spot where they cut because we wanna get back to that in just a little bit. Now this envelope over here, back to this envelope, we made a prediction inside of this envelope. And I'm actually gonna show you guys what is inside of this envelope right now. I'm gonna show you guys what is the future. And this is a sealed envelope. So we're going to open it up just like this, the best that I can. All right, perfect. As you guys can see, inside of the sealed envelope, there's a single playing card. And you guys can examine the envelope. There's nothing else inside of it, completely empty. There's no hidden trap doors or anything. One single card inside from a different deck of cards. Now you shuffled these cards, the red deck, and you cut the cards anywhere you wanted to. And you cut the cards right here at this card, the two of hearts. As you guys can see, one card less would have been the ace of hearts. One card more would have been the four of clubs, but you cut to the two of hearts. I predicted the future in this envelope with this exact playing card, which just so happens to be the two of hearts, the perfect match. So that is the trick, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so this is the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So as you guys can see, you're gonna need just a couple of things to do this trick, but don't worry guys, this trick is actually extremely easy to do. This is a perfect trick for beginners. Once you guys watch this video, you will be able to do this right away. So you can literally go out and perform this trick to your friends and family right after you watch this video, which is pretty awesome. Don't be intimidated by all these things that you see on the screen. I know you see a lot of things, but don't worry, this trick is very, very simple and I will explain how to do it right now. So first, you're just gonna need to get a couple of things. So the first thing is just get a normal envelope and then you're gonna write the text the future on it or whatever you guys want to do like my prediction or something you guys can do whatever you want and then you're going to need to get a random card from another random deck so I just got out the two of hearts and this card goes inside of the envelope and then you're gonna seal the envelope okay so that's basically the setup for this part right over here so then the next part is you're going to need a deck of cards and this is just a normal deck of cards. Just make sure you have the same force card um, and set that off to the side for a minute too. But the thing about this deck of cards, the deck of cards is completely normal. What really matters about this deck is actually the card box. As you guys can see, the front looks normal, but look at the back. As you guys can see, the back of this card box has the same exact back design as the back of these playing cards. What's gonna happen is I'm actually going to be using this tape here in a minute to stick my force card to the box and it's gonna completely blend in with the box because when I remove it, it's just gonna look the same as it was before. So that's really the secret of this trick is the entire time when the spectator is shuffling the deck, this two of hearts is actually just here on the box the entire time. And then later you're gonna ring it in for the card force, which I'll teach you later. So how you're gonna set this up is first you're gonna need a card box with this back design on it. So if you guys don't have a card box with this back design, this is how you're gonna make it. So you can take any deck of cards 
and then you're gonna take a random card that you don't need. You can use a joker or an add card, and you're going to basically cut out this little section of the card here so that it's gonna match the card box. So you would just kind of line it up with this box and then try and cut it the best that you can so that it looks like this little flap right over here. And then you just take some double stick tape on the face of this random card and then you would place it on the back and then you would just leave that there forever. And that would become the back of your card box forever now. But if you guys already have a box with this design on it, then that would be perfect as well. So then you don't have to actually do that extra step that I just told you. So then what you're gonna do, how to stick this card to the box, you're gonna take this double-sided tape over here and you're just going to take a very, very small piece. That was actually maybe even too big, um, but a little bit smaller than that would be fine. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it to the left edge here, right where the red is ending. You're gonna stick that double-sided tape right there and just make sure it's nice and flat and not gonna show or anything. So then you're gonna take your two of hearts, your force card, make sure this is the same card as it is in the envelope. And you're gonna take this card and try and line it up the best you can with the box. And then once you do that, you're just gonna apply some pressure to stick that card down just like this. So as you guys can see, the card will only be stuck on this side this side will be completely open. And as you guys can see, it's gonna be pretty easy to remove once this tape is applied. It's gonna be pretty easy to remove the card. But if I just hold the box and I can literally throw this across the room and that card is going to stay completely still. I just don't wanna to apply too much pressure on the box or else that card's gonna slide right off. But this card is gonna stay pretty sturdy if I don't touch it that hard. But once I have this, I'm pretty much set up to go. I don't need the tape anymore. I just need the deck of cards, which is completely shuffled by the way. So then I'm just going to take the cards and place them inside of the box and then close up the box and then I am ready to begin the trick. And I have my force card in my envelope, which I'm also ready to go. So now let's actually begin how this trick works. So this trick is very simple. There's like little to no sleight of hand. So basically how it works is you're gonna pick up the card box, take out the deck and just be careful not to remove this card or anything. And then you're just gonna close the box and set the box down with this card facing up so that you guys can see the back of the box. Now you're gonna have the spectator shuffle the deck as much as you want to, and they can do literally as much as they want to while shuffling this deck, it really does not matter. Just make sure you show the spectator the order of the cards just so that they know that the cards are shuffled. And once you do that, they can shuffle it a couple more times. And then you're gonna take the cards and you're just gonna place them on top of the box. So just place them right here on top of the box and just say, we'll get back to that in just a little bit. So then the next part of the trick is going to be introducing the envelope over here. So all you're gonna do first is you're just gonna flip over the envelope and show the text that says the future on it. You're not gonna open it or do anything. You can explain that you have a prediction inside of here that you're gonna leave as a mystery for the spectator. So you're not gonna tell them what's inside here, but you're just gonna show them that it says the future on it. Basically on the offbeat, while you're talking about this envelope here, what you're gonna do is you're going to come over with your hand to the box. This is really the only sleight of hand that you're doing here is you're going to just put your hand here on the box and then you're gonna peel the entire deck off the box and all you're gonna do is really just apply pressure on the right side of the box as you slide the deck off you're just gonna kind of squeeze the right side of the box and that will just make sure that that card will just slide right off. And now I have that two of hearts on the bottom of the deck, which is exactly what you want. So one more time, the deck is here. You're just gonna slide the card right off and just make sure you kind of feel that card coming right off and then you'll be able to continue with the rest of the trick. So now that two of hearts is loaded on the bottom of the deck and you really just have to take the cards off and then set them on the table. That's really all you have to do. So once the cards are here on the table, you're gonna have the spectator cut the cards anywhere they want to and then complete the cut, but leave the cards diagonal, just like this. And this is called the crisscross force. Basically what you're gonna be doing is just forcing this two of hearts because since this two is on the bottom, it doesn't matter where they cut to, but they can cut anywhere they want to. And if you place this half on top diagonally, you're basically just gonna be lifting up this half and showing the two of hearts no matter where they cut. But the force does require what's called time misdirection, which means you have to kind of step away from this for a little bit and move over to the envelope and then go back to this. So you don't wanna show them this instantly. You wanna use some time misdirection, just wait a couple seconds, wait a minute or two, and then come back to it. And that's what will make the force realistic. So then you just say, okay, we'll get back to that in just a little bit. Now we're gonna open up this envelope here. So you guys can open up the envelope just like this, and you're going to remove what's inside. Now you're just gonna show the back of the card. You're not gonna flip it over quite yet. And now you can show the specter of the envelope. You can even like rip up the envelope, just say like, look, there's nothing else inside of it. 
You can throw it away, it doesn't really matter at this point. Just don't flip over this card quite yet. So you're just gonna set it aside for now. And now you're gonna say, you guys shuffle the deck, you cut anywhere you wanted to, and you cut right over here at the two of hearts. And then you're gonna remove this card, set it down here. Say, look, one card less would have been the nine of diamonds, one card more would have been five of spades. Literally any card would have been different because you shuffled the entire deck completely. And then you can set the cards back on top of the box and say, look, I made one prediction inside of the envelope and it just so happens to match your selection. So yeah, as you guys can see, this trick is like extremely easy. You just need a couple of little materials, but once you guys get those materials, you can literally do this anytime, anywhere and it's super fooling, it's super awesome to perform, really, really fun to do. So I really hope you guys try this one out and let me know how it goes in the comment section below. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you have not subscribed already, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next time. Bye.